How much, uh, how much different defensively does this team feel compared to two weeks ago? <laughs> I mean, we just we want to be as good as we can be, and um, I think right now we're just we're really paying attention to detail. And we're executing the game plan, and that's it. And uh, it's not two weeks ago or one week ago or three months. Ago. Right now, we're just trying to pay attention to detail. And not quite sure if we've held a team under 90 this year. Uh, and, you know, today was the first, and that's, that's a really good, uh, it's a really good step. Well, after a tough loss last night, I think uh, you know the break got the best of our legs. Missed a lot of open shots that we're accustomed to making, and uh, watched it play very well last night on our home floor. So, uh, just coming in here, just trying to play with a lot of energy. We didn't start the game off well. We picked it up, had the energy, and had the pace that we want, got the stops that we want. It was a good win for us. Team defense obviously takes all five guys, but there's individual things that, that say Larry can do and George can do. How, how does that help? Overall, team well, I mean, it helps out because those guys are so individually talented defensively that it allows the, the back three or the front line or the back line to be able to kind of stay home a lot of the times. Um, obviously, G. Hill's hands, uh, you know, um, Larry's length and athleticism allows us to kind of keep everything at bay. So, you know, our league is all pick and roll. So when you got a point guard and you got a center that can play uh, two on two and, and the other three can kind of stay, you know, at bay, it helps out of everybody. After a tough night shooting for everyone last night, how important was it? To keep the ball uh, it was, it's, it's key. I mean, it was very key for us. And we got in late last night, too. A lot of guys were just, uh, I won't say tired, but sleeping. You know, we didn't get a lot of sleep. And, uh, you know, for us to come out with the energy that we had, you know, for the most part, 48 minutes is a good game for us. Um, Brian, um, here in Memphis, uh, next month, 50th anniversary of Dr. King's assassination. Uh, you've been outspoken before. I know you like to read in the postseason. Have you read any of Dr. King's work? Or uh, I mean, listen, I think it's a part of my everyday life. I don't need to go into a book or go online and look at Dr. King's uh, words. I think uh, what he did, what he said, transcend our time today. Uh, a guy who was before him time, before his time, obviously. and. You know, while we're celebrating the last few days of Black History Month, he's definitely someone that we always remember. Um, you know, being here in Memphis, understanding that this was the, you know, the place of his assassination. I think, um, you know, unfortunately, we had to take away a great leader, but in return, uh, I think it brought a lot of people together, but we're still fighting. We're still trying to figure out those same things that he talked about years and years ago, but uh, he's definitely an inspiration to all of us. Sunday, you guys started at 5 home stand. It's the longest of the year. Is that a chance to really kind of take control of this regular season for you No, guys. I just want to play with them. I can't look at the home stand. I mean, we've lost a lot of games at home. Um, we've been playing better right now on the road. So, uh, But, you know, we get an opportunity to kind of get settled. It seems like we haven't been home, like you said, in a, in a while. So we have just to get acclimated being back home. That, that helps out a lot. So we look forward to the challenges that we have. With the season being so close to the Eastern Conference 3 through 9, do you really care as far as what the season is going to end up being for you guys? Or uh, I mean, look. I mean, as long as I'm not 9 through 15, then I got a chance. And we got a chance. All right. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate Thanks, it. Brian.